Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What is up guys? My name is Hassan and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to give you guys a stock analysis video on one of my favorite companies. It is a high growth EV company known as Workhorse, ticker symbol WKHS. One of the reasons why I like this company so much is that they have an opportunity to get a $6.5 billion UPS contract to build around 165,000 vehicles. And this is a great opportunity. We don't know if they're gonna get it or not, but it looks like they are one of the front runners. As always, before we begin, I have to give you guys a quick disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor, nor do I know you personally or your financial situations. I am not responsible for any of your gains or losses in the stock market. My suggestions are only suggestions. That does not mean you go out and buy these stocks, nor am I here to certify if certain companies are halal or haram, meaning if they're permissible or impermissible to invest in terms of a Islamic perspective. This is just a place for you to start your own due diligence. And just to keep in mind, the reason why I'm going through this disclaimer is because a lot of people will follow all these YouTubers and they'll buy the company without doing their own research. Sometimes they might do well, sometimes they might not. And then when things go wrong, they're like, oh man, it's because of this guy I lost money. No, it's because of you. At the end of the day, you have to hold yourself accountable to this investment. Another disclaimer I want to give you guys is that all the information that I present to you guys are not mine. I get them from other people, articles, newspapers, a lot of research, videos, book, annual reports. The only thing that might be mine is my emotions and my experience. So before we get started, I wanna show you guys my Robinhood portfolio really quickly. So we can see here for one day, the market is actually live. We're down around $358 or we're down by 1.2%, which is okay. And then if we look at it for one week, I'm up around $51 or I'm pretty much even. And if we look at it for one month, I'm up around 5.3% or almost $1,400. And if we look at it for three months, I'm up around 6% or $1,500. And then if we look at it for the one year chart, I'm up around 26%, around $5,700. Another thing to keep in mind is that this chart right here, this one year chart is not fully accurate because they do not include the dividend. I average around 3% in dividend. So we have here 26% if you add 3% to that for the year I'm up for the year I'm up around 29%, which is decent, which is higher than my normal averages around at least around 15%. And if we go to our all time record, we can see that I'm up around 23%. And then we started around what middle of 2017. So we're gonna so about this is 2020. So it's about three years. So I make around so we're going to pull up our calculator here. They're showing us that I was up around 23%. So we're going to put 23 and then we're at about 3% per year for the three years. We're going to add, we're doing a rough estimate around 9%. So we get around 32%. If we divide that by about three, we get around 10.6%. So for the last three, four years, I'm averaging at least according to this portfolio, I'm averaging around 10, 11% per year. So it's really important that if you're going to follow somebody and if you're going to listen to somebody, they should have a proven track record of their investments. And on the right here, we can see here some of my holdings. If you look at a majority of them have one thing in common and is that they all pay a dividend. But however, we're doing a little bit different. This company that we're going to talk about, Workhorse, it's a little bit different than our traditional dividend investing. It's more of a growth EV investment. And on the right, you can see some of my holdings such as AMD, KL, Texas, Baozong, NVIDIA, KTB, and 3M. There's more, but that's for my other videos. We can see here, this is my all-time chart, and this was a big dip that took during December of 2018. This was a great buying opportunity, another buying opportunity. So as the time was going every single month, I was collecting dividends month after month, sometimes 30, 40, 50 dollars at a given month. So we're going to scroll down to my holdings and I'm going to show you since this is a stock analysis video, I'm going to show you my disclaimer or at least give you guys. So currently I have workhorse. I have 32 shares. I'm not a person who only talk about investing. I actually do it. You can see that I'm actually invested into 
work course. If I'm going to recommend it for the most of the time, I try to invest in it if it's possible. So I currently have around 32 shares of Workhorse. And the current price right now is around $21. And I think that this is a good support. This is a good buying opportunity around this price. And if we look at it for the one year chart, we can see that it took a it's for the one year it's up massive around 625%. And this is it took a nice dip after the UPS contract has been delayed again. I would buy around, I can't tell you what to do, but I would buy around 21, 22, 20 dollars a share. And just to be more even more transparent, and you can see that the, my average cost is around $23. And it's around 2.4% of my portfolio. And one thing to keep in mind is that you never want to go over 5% in a given stock or a given company, especially if it's a speculative, high risk, high reward type of company. So I'm going to take you guys to Seeking Alpha. We can see here. So we're going to give you guys a quick overview. This is a great platform to do some research because they provide valuable information and financials. So Workhorse is a technology company that designs, manufactures, and builds battery, electric vehicles, and aircrafts. In other words, they make like they deliver a drone system. So pretty much they make mid-duty a Workhorse brand uh, EV trucks and they have a drone system. I'm going to take you guys to their investor presentation and just show you guys what type of EVs or trucks that they make. And we can see here some of the products that they make. They make the C650, C1000, C450, and C650, which is again, repeat right here. So these are the mid-size U-Haul type of EV trucks that they make. And these are great designs. So one of the first things I like to look at is their market cap. So currently their market cap is around 2.7 or 2.5 billion dollars so if i were to buy this company at a whole price all at once i would have to pay a 2.5 billion dollars for this company do i think it's worth that much not really in terms of value no but this ev trend is crazy they don't care anything about financials they only care about just it's an ev this is a trend investing style that so just keeps going up so here we can see their pe price to earnings ratios blank price to growth is blank we can see price to sales is crazy number the lower the number the better it is for p price to sales and this is a ridiculous number so looking at the financials is not a very good idea and especially a high growth high reward type of company is actually better to look at what type of company it is and the trend that it's following i do want to point out that this is a very high risk high reward type of opportunity I normally don't like to invest in these type of companies because I'm a more traditional dividend growth investor. And remember that in the stock market, wealth gets transferred around, meaning like it gets recycled. Sometimes it goes to EV, sometimes it goes to minerals, sometimes it goes to tech, and people just go go in and out from one place to another. I'm, I do want to point out an article that they put forward. They're saying that workhorse, don't buy the hype, wait for the results. I disagree with this because if you were to wait for the results, it might be too late. Like for example, if you wait for their product orders and their, for them to buy the land and build factories, get clients, and for them to produce massive trucks at a massive level, by then it'll be too late because the company already jumped up by 10x or 15x like what we're seeing with tesla so as there's a great saying by warren buffett he says that when you are investing you should invest in a company while it is in the operating room not when it is recovered so when it's in the operating room when it's when it's down that's when you want to buy the company because it's still growing it's still about to recover or is recovering versus has fully grown and recovered and by then it might be too late. So here they're saying, don't buy the hype, wait for the results. I say that hype is not a good word or hype is not the way to go. Buy a company while it's growing before it reached its full potential. There are some good things about this company in terms of balance sheet, even though I don't like to look at the balance sheet in terms of high growth company, they do have some cash on hand. So they have a cash of around 80 million, but their debt is also around 128. So they do have a little bit of cash. So now I'm going to take you guys to the financials. We can see their revenue is very choppy. Scroll down. One of the most important things about investing is the interest payment. 
as a Muslim investor, we have to take a look at the interest payment because this is one of the most important things that matter to us because we want to stay away with companies that have high debt and companies that pay a lot of interest. Normally, we should be only investing in companies that pay zero in interest, just like as an individual, we don't like to pay credit card interest. If we're owning a company, we, we shouldn't have to pay interest on the money that they're borrowing. Yes, they, there are other ways to raise capital, but I like to invest in companies that pay little to none. So in reality, it should be zero in interest. There are companies out there who pay zero interest. So Workhorse having a paying around $6 million every year, or at least for 2019, it makes me very uncomfortable investing in it. So currently I do have Workhorse, but I don't know if I'm going to hold on to it in the long run or not, unless things change about their debt or about their interest. Even though I like the company because EV is is the trend, EV is the future. If their interest has not been being taken care of, I don't know if I will continue to invest in the company or not. For you, this might not even really matter, but in terms of a Muslim investor, this is a very big deal for us. So another thing I do want to point out is the Zoya app, which tells if it's it finds halal stocks instantly for free, pretty much. They do have it. If you want, I highly recommend you download this. They do consider Workhorse to be Sharia compliant. I don't know how much I agree with that because of their debt and their interest payment. They're saying that it's Sharia compliant. So now I want to take you guys, and this is all, all just as a Muslim investor. So now I want to take you guys to their 2020 third quarter results. We can see that this was published during November 9th. And we're going to scroll down a little bit. And we can see some of their highlights or some of the things that are going good for the company. Like, for example, for their 2020, for example, for the 2021 production, they have a target of 1800 vehicles, which is a right direction. It's not a massive, but we can see that they're taking small steps towards the right direction. And then we can see here they received a purchase order of 500 C1000 trucks from this auto company. And they also improved their current cash positions to over 260. So they are getting some orders, they're increasing their cash position and they are, I would say, and they're building relationships with other companies out there and they are heading in the right direction. And then we're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you guys current ratio or some of its financials. So I wanna take you guys to my notes. So the reason why I like to go over the current ratio is because it's a very important health bar for the company. So total current liabilities are a company's short-term financial obligations that are due within. So their current liability is how much money they have to expend for the company to stay alive in that within that one year. So current liabilities include accounts, payable expenses, short-term debt, dividends, notes, uh, taxes, and so on, day-to-day -day expenses. So now we're going to calculate the current ratio. Ratio shows us how sustainable this company is, or in other words, it's health bar. So the current ratio is current assets over or divided by current liabilities. So we're going to take you guys 2020. So we can see here the current asset is around 99 million and we're going to check out their current liability. So if we look for their current liability is 132 million. So 99 and 132 so we're going to pull out our calculator so their current asset is goes first their current asset is 99 millions and then divided there by their current liability is around 132 million and we get around 0.75 so their current ratio is around 0.75 normally i like to look for companies with current ratio of one or above meaning they can be they are sustainable so this is a little risky but it is a growth company it is that they might need to increase their cash we just which we just saw so normally we want a current ratio of above one so now i'm going to take you guys to my notes on some of the bullet points that I've gathered and researched. So workhorse stock analysis, pretty much, we don't want to buy workhorse only because of their UPS contract. We want to buy it because it's an EV company, which is licensed in all 50 states, and they're recently approved for their drone technology. Like Remember, we said that their company is divided into two parts. One is the EV vehicles. The other is their drone company 
that can deliver these packages to your houses. So we don't want to buy the company because of their UPS. We want to see the company moving in the right direction. And with current Tesla situation that's happening, that it's increasing. So whenever Tesla goes up, all the EV market goes up with it. And this is a great trend investing opportunity. Another famous investor, Kathy Wood, she added a lot more workhorse to her portfolio. So regardless if Workhorse gets their UPS contract or not, I think Workhorse has a very positive upside potential. Right now with all the EVs out there, I think that Workhorse is relatively lower risk. Yes, it is a risky investment because of its nature, but it is a lower risk investment in terms of the EV sector. And I believe that they're focusing on the right market. Like for example, Tesla, yes, they do have their cyber truck, but that's not really for U-Haul delivery type so them having a specific trucks, which I don't see much people making these type of trucks, one of the first companies out there to do this. And in the long run, I think that they're going to do well. Remember, just because I invest something, that doesn't mean you should invest in it. If you made it this far, hopefully I have earned your subscription. I have earned your like, as always, thank you. See you guys next time.